The standard test methods to determine the modulus of rupture of the beam. In order to test the structural strength of a concrete beam, span length and should be at least three times the depth. The flexural strength is expressed as the modulus of rupture. Mm, these are two standard test methods to determine the flexural strength in a concrete beam. The center point loading test. In this test method, the entire mode is applied at the center of the beam span length. Where the flexural strength or modulus of rupture is higher than the modulus, modulus of rupture of the third point loading test. The maximum stress is representing only at the center of the beam. The second one is the third point loading test. In this test method, half the load is applied at each third of the beam's span length. Here, the flexural strength of modulus of rupture is lower than that of the modulus of rupture found in the center point of loading test. In this test, the maximum stress is present over the center one-third portion of the beam. The flexural modulus of rupture is about 10% to 20% of the compressive strength, depending on the type, size, and volume of force aggregate used in a concrete beam. However, the best correlation for specific materials is obtained by laboratory tests for the given materials and mixed design. The modulus of rupture determined by the third loading is lower than the modulus of rupture determined by the center loading, sometimes by as much as 15%. The calculation of modulus of rupture is the formula of rupture depressed differs for different types of loading system. A rectangular sample under a load in three-point bending setup is equation. The L is the length of the support span. This B is width. F is the load or force at the fracture point. And D is the thickness. A rectangular sample under a load in a four-point bending setup where the loading span is one-third of the support span. This is equation number two is follows as F is the load or force at the fracture point, L is the length of the support or outer span, B is the width, and the D is the thickness. For the four part bend setup, if the loading span is one half the support span, the loading span is neither one third nor one half the support span for the four part bend setup. This is is equation is follows as L sub i is the length of the loading of or inner span. The power times of modulus rupture, this is the calculation of modulus of rupture is considered crucial in structural mechanics. It helps in designing structural elements like beams, cantilevers, shafts, and etc. Aids in the study of materials and their properties provides a parameter for development of stronger constructional materials. Lectural strength helps in judging the quality of structures being used for construction. It is a tool to predict both resistance and durability of objects. So that's all for our report, Shukran.